Let's now back to our top story and the new Saudi crown prince. Carol Kirsten is a senior lecturer in the study of Islam in the Muslim world at King's College in London, and he joins us now live. Thanks so much for joining us. Let me ask you Pleasure. first, how much is this appointment a shake-up, and how much is it more of the same for Saudi? Well, it's uh, quite exceptional that now for the second time in two years, a crown prince in Saudi Arabia is being sidelined. This was, uh, until two years ago, completely unprecedented because the Saudi royal family always has made a point of presenting a unified face to the outside world. Now we see that the crown prince designate has been uh, ousted uh, at the expense of a very young prince of the third generation of the grandsons of the founding king Abdul Aziz. And uh, it remains to be seen how we have to interpret that. We, of course, don't know exactly what was going on in Riyadh overnight. Only the royal family knows that. Uh, but there is an indication that uh, Mohammed bin Salman is getting very impatient. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Arguably, the most pressing issue Saudi is facing right now uh, is the standoff with its neighbor Qatar. This is, uh, this is actually a crown prince now with no sympathy for Qatar's relationship with Iran or with the Muslim Brotherhood. So could he serve to actually heighten tensions or might he prove a better diplomat? Well, the worrying thing is, of course, that Mohammed bin Salman's track record is that a little bit of a firebrand. He initiated uh, the war uh, or the intervention in, uh, in Yemen. And, and indeed, he is also very uncompromising in his attitude towards Iran. And let's not forget, uh, Mohammed bin Salman also controls the defense ministry. So uh, if anything, uh, in terms of his temperament, uh, is the thing we have to go by, then I think we are in for a, a rather rocky ride. Okay. Carol Kirsten, we will leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from London.